Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about perimeter and area of squares and rectangles. We already know that perimeter is the distance around a closed figure. Now perimeter of a regular polygon is equal to number of sides into length of one side. Now square is a regular polygon and all the sides of a square are equal. So that means perimeter of a square is equal to side plus side plus side plus side. That is 4 into side. Also Number of sides of a square is 4. So its perimeter will be 4 into side. That is number of sides into length of one side. Now let us consider a rectangle. This is the length of the rectangle denoted by L. And this is the breadth of the rectangle denoted by B. So, perimeter of the rectangle will be equal to length plus breadth plus length plus breadth. That means, perimeter of a rectangle is given by 2 into L plus B. Now, let's move on to area. We know that area is the region occupied by a closed figure. So this whole region is the area of the square and area of a square is given by side into side. Now let's move on to rectangle. Area of a rectangle is equal to length into breadth that is L into B. Here, this whole region is the area of the given rectangle. Let's take an example. We are given that area of a square part is equal to the area of the rectangular part. Here we have a square part and a rectangular part and their areas are equal. Now we are also given that the side of the square part is 60 meters and the length of the rectangular part is 90 meters. And we need to find the perimeter of rectangular part. So now to find out the perimeter of the rectangular part, we need to find the breadth of the rectangular part. Now we are given that area of the square part is equal to the area of the rectangular part. That means area of the square part that is side into side, that is 60 meters into 60 meters will be equal to area of the rectangular part and area of a rectangle is length into breadth. So this will be equal to 90 meters into B, which is the length of the rectangle. From this, we get breadth, that is B, will be equal to 60 into 60 upon 90 meters, which will be equal to 40 meters. That means breadth of the rectangle is 40 meters. Now, we need to find the perimeter of the rectangular part. So this will be equal to 2 into L plus V that is 90 plus 40 meters which will be equal to 260 meters. Now our next topic is triangles as parts of rectangles. Here we have a rectangle A, B, C, D now suppose we cut this rectangle along its diagonal BD into two triangles that is 
triangle ABD and triangle CBD. Here we will find that these two triangles are exactly same in size. They both are equal in area and are congruent to each other. So area of each triangle will be equal to half into area of rectangle as these both triangles combine together to form the rectangle A, B, C, D. Now we have a square P, Q, R, S and now suppose we divide the square in four equal parts like this then we will notice that all these four triangles are exactly same in size. They all are congruent to each other and are equal in area. So, area of each triangle will be equal to 1 by 4 into area of square. As these four triangles combine together to form the square PQRS. Now let's see how we can generalize this for other congruent parts of rectangles. Here we have a rectangle A, B, C, D and we have divided it in six equal parts. Now we are given that the length of this rectangle is 9 centimeters and the breadth of this rectangle is 4 centimeters. And we need to find the area of one part. Now here we can see that all these six parts are exactly same in size. They are congruent to each other and are equal in area. Thus, area of each part will be equal to 1 by 6 into area of rectangle. So this will be equal to 1 by 6 into 9 centimeters into 4 centimeters which will be equal to 6 cm square. Thus, area of one part is equal to 6 cm square. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have enjoyed it. Goodbye, take care and keep smiling.